My name is Naga Chalasani. I'm at Indiana University in Indianapolis in the United States of America. Uh, uh, Dr. Jalan and his uh, colleagues have asked uh, me and Dr. Lumba to author a paper review article on non-invasive assessment in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is really a critical area. Um, without non-invasive ass assessment, you would have to do liver biopsies on a large number of patients, whether to diagnose them or for prognostic purposes or if they're participating in clinical trials uh, to see treatment response. That is a very burdensome, risky, and expensive. Therefore, over the course of the last 15 years or so, there's been tremendous interest in coming up with effective non-invasive non tools. Uh, so this review article that uh, we have authored uh, uh, together, uh, it uh, touches on non-invasive tools that are available from serum, from DNA, as well as imaging. And in terms of serum and plasma, the emphasis largely has been to date on uh, markers of apoptosis, which is keratinating fragments, or markers of fibrosis, uh, such as ELF score. Uh, they have shown promise, but they have not fully materialized, and commercially they are not available. Uh, but there are a number of companies and investigators working on several no uh, serum-based novel uh, biomarkers, which we expect would uh, be effective in the next few years or so. And within the, in the blood base, there are also molecular uh, markers such as cell-free RNA, cell-free DNA methylation that are being tested as well, they uh, hold promise. Uh, DNA, uh, germline DNA mutations such as PNPLA3 are an important marker of disease activity, progression, and treatment response. So they can be part of non-invasive assessment. I don't think they will be uh, and they will not be sufficient solely, but you, you would have to build them with either serum or imaging uh, biomarkers. A lot of progress has been made in terms of imaging and elastography over the course of last decade. Um, uh, vibration control transient elastography, which is also famously called FibroScan, is used widely uh, in the United States now, and it is a point of care. It can be done in the clinic. It's uh, inexpensive, uh, and it is safe. It gives an estimate of CAP score, uh, which is uh, um, uh, a surrogate for steatosis as well as liver stiffness. And uh, there is a lot of excitement about FibroScan. And Dr. Lumba and his colleagues have worked uh, extensively on MRI-based uh, non-invasive tool, uh, non-invasive assessment, whether it's MRI, PDFF, or MR elastography, uh, they show great uh, promise from an imaging standpoint. In totality, as Dr. Lumba said, it is probably going to take a combination of serum, maybe DNA plus imaging, to come up with a package that can assess patients non-invasively. So when somebody comes to you in your clinic, you can say, based on this, you're likely have NASH or, or you don't have to worry about it. And also those can be used in, in clinical trials.